Um, well, you know, our defense uh, started lacking uh, there towards the end of the second, uh, first half. Um, <clears throat> we got in foul trouble. We couldn't defend without fouling somebody, it seemed like, uh, which let them back in the game. I mean, half their points, you know, in the first half came from free throws, and they did a good job of knocking those down. And then just the second half, you know, made a little bit of a run early again, but still, you know, continued to foul and put them to the free throw line. And, you know, they kept playing, and they out-toughed us. And, you know, they uh, were rebounding the ball really well towards the end of the game and getting second-chance points, and, and that, that definitely hurt us. So. I mean, it was tough. I mean, I don't know that that was uh, much of an excuse for us to not be in rhythm, um, you know. But I mean, it, it was a lot of things. It just you know, them getting second chance points, getting offensive, re you know, offensive rebounds, and you know, not letting us get out and run and keep them, you know. They're kind of getting transition points, and you know, we weren't stopping the ball early, which was we having to foul, and so that was uh, a big part of why we couldn't kind of find ourselves in the second half. So. Um, not being disciplined, really, not being tough. That's what it is. When it comes down to the rivalry games, you have to be tough mentally and maybe a little bit physically. But, you know, everything was going well. But if you were to sustain that lead, you know, we probably would have came out with the win today. Okay, you understand Charlotte more than anybody. I mean, going up where you did, your last one here in Gallagher, obviously you have to have a win. But you looked like you were feeling it there for a while. And did that go into your head, this rivalry, and growing up seeing it? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, you want to, you know, this being my last one, you want to come in and and have a good game. But you know, I'd I'd take a win and not have any points. But um, it is what it is, and you know, we'll have to learn from this. We got to make sure that we're tougher. You know, we can't, you know, be satisfied with our four wins or be happy with the lead that we had. You know, I think we might have got a little too excited there early, and and uh, you know, but uh, we should have kept our composure and kept fighting because you know they never gave up and. Ultimately, that helped them uh, win the game. Was it a little bit of a silver lining from the standpoint that, I mean, Pleasure has 38 at Iowa State, had a zero finish there. Torch has 25 that day, zero, but yet you guys are right there the whole day. But you're not relying on one guy. Everybody's chipping in. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's definitely a positive for us that, you know, if, if one person's not on, somebody else is going to be there to step up. I mean, Fitz has been consistent for us all year. We know that he's going to going to be there for us, you know, when we need him, you know, but, you know, from a guard guard play standpoint, you know, you know, Steve stepping up at times, Cam stepping up, you know, last game and, you know, it's just, uh, it's nice that, you know, we're still hanging in there. If, you know, if we can get it all cylinders firing, you know, it, you know, it could be um, really good for us, but, you know, we have to make sure that we do everything right still, even though, you know, if everybody's on, we got to make sure that we're playing defense and getting rebounds. How painful is it at the end of the first half to see him get back in at, at the foul line? Uh, it was tough, you know, I mean, just constantly, you know, them knocking down free throws and us fouling and being in foul trouble. I mean, it was it was tough to see the lead kind of dwindle down, you know, and knowing that they we knew they were going to make a run, you know. I mean, it's just kind of part of the game, you know, we know they're going to try and get a spark and get something going. But um, you know, it just, you know, even though they did that, we still got to fight through it and and try and keep playing. So. Just where you go from here, I mean, you guys at one point were already had a little momentum and got stopped today. Where the first thing you go from here, because you got Texas, Kansas, and Texas coming up. Um, really just keep our head up, stay focused, you know. It's good that we had success. It's really good that, you know, we hadn't been knocked down like this game right here. So we get our heads back to being like the way it was when it was 0-3, to be back on focus, be the tougher team. And, you know, things happen for a reason, you know, I think, um, we was like kind of happy with our success with the four game winning streak, but you know, now we're knocked down. Now it's time to come back and play OU basketball again.